I've got a question for you. Have you ever seen a movie and it was that complex and that interesting with such a bizarre ending that you felt like that you needed to express to your audience the magnitude of needing to see this movie purely because of the fact that you didn't understand the ending of it? This is Nightmare Alley and welcome to my new movie review for Nightmare Alley guys. The reason why I need to start at the bit, at, at, from, the, from the, the end of the film to the beginning of the film is because there are so many wow or smash mouth hitting moments in this film at the end of the film that you are just left as an audience member going, wait, did he just say what I think he just said? And you're like flabbergasted by the repercussions of that. This movie is next level, and I'll give you my full details, guys, straight after the introduction. And if you haven't already know, guys, welcome to my new movie review for Nightmare Alley. Guys, I don't do spoilers, no spoilers in my movie reviews at all to any degree, because in my personal opinion, spoilers are fair. And if you want to see a spoiler review, then go to someone else's channel because you won't get them here. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to roll that introduction, my personal introduction. I'm going to give you the director, the cast, the synopsis, and the genre of the film, and uh, obviously the duration, guys. So see you after the intro. See you soon. First off, we have the director, Guillermo del Toro. And the cast of Nightmare Alley is, first up, we have the incredible Bradley Cooper playing the role of Stanton Carlyle. Next up, we have Kate Blanchett as Dr. Lilith Ritter. Also, we have Tony Collette playing the role of Xena the Seer. We also have the brilliant Willem Dafoe playing the character of Clem Hopefully. We also have Richard Jenkins as Ezra Grindel, with Rooney Maha as Molly Kyhill, with Ron Perlman who plays the character of Bruno, with Mary Steenbergen as Mrs. Gimble, and last but definitely not least we have David Stratham who plays the character of Pete. With a duration of 2 hours and 30 minutes long. Rated MA15+. Plus. And the genre is a crime drama thriller movie. Nightmare Alley Synopsis. An ambitious carny with a talent for manipulating people with a few well chosen words hooks up with a female psychiatrist who is even more dangerous than he is. So as you can see guys, this movie has a juggernaut, juggernaut cast. And when you have a juggernaut cast like this, one of the things that, that the main character, Bradley Cooper, one of the things that people like him need to, actors like him need to do is, is hold the movie in, in every one of his scenes. Because of the fact that his, his, his role is so vital to the rest of the film, specifically to the end of it, specifically to the end of the film, it's really, really hard to not go back and, and, and re-watch this film because the last line that he says in the film has a massive, massive piece to do with a specific character at the beginning of the film that they bring in. It confused me to no end. It confused me to no end. And specifically, the situations that happen towards the end of the film where you're just lost in, in just shock because you just 
one, didn't understand why that, that just happened to those characters, but moreover, two, is how extreme it was that that happened to those characters. There's other, and there's another character in this movie, guys, where he works with Bradley Cooper's character, and like I said, no spoilers. And throughout the journey, uh, like probably from the middle of the movie to the end of the movie, or, or if anything, at the end of the movie onwards, he develops a very, 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 very deep connection with this guy. Now, I don't want to give anything away, and I won't, but the reason why you need to see this film is to understand complexities of how much time he would have had to spend and how much back research he would have had to do to get to where he got. And the hardest part about it is right at the end of the film, what he reveals at the end to Bradley Cooper is so extreme that the matters that end up happening, the, the situation that ends up happening, you just, you don't know whether it was a good thing or a bad thing, but it like is a good thing, but it's just so like, are you like, it's so full on. <laughs> it's so full on, it really, really is. Like every star, every actor in this movie it was imperative to bring their A game for a movie of this this magnitude. And the biggest reason why is because you knew that if they didn't bring their A game to what the story was in this movie, then it would have just fallen so flat that you would have just been like, wait, wait, what? Like, it's so crazy. If you're looking for a movie with shocking scenes, and I don't mean shocking as in just blood curdling wrenching scenes where something happens and you're like, oh, I kind of had a feeling that was going to come, but really shocking as in out of the blue, Nightmare Alley is definitely for you. The thrilling aspect elements of Nightmare Alley are so wonderfully planted. There, and I guess it's because of the fact that I've seen so many movies in my time, but there's so many times in this movie where I was just so impressed with the outcome of the situation that was presented to certain characters that they had to execute in order for the story to progress and it was so so well done like that there's a moment in this movie where i thought that the storyline was going to go in a really 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 different direction uh regarding molly and stratton which is bradley cooper's character i didn't really understand what they, what, it's like they twisted, it's like they twisted the, the color palette of her to make us think something else. And then all of a sudden, we were, we were watching this, this woman and the, the idea of what ended up happening was completely different to what I thought was being portrayed. When you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it went a completely different direction. But she looked like, she looked physically like she was really, really, really sick. I mean, really sick. But, but that was like, yes, she was probably run down and stuff like that. But that wasn't the that that wasn't the that wasn't the end of the the situation. It was actually completely different. And I was like, wait, huh? Like, I, I just really thought that the storyline of this movie was headed it was genuinely headed in another direction, and it wasn't at all. I mean, like, like at all. Like, it literally, 
yeah, it just went somewhere totally different to what I was expecting it to do. And I was like, huh, well, I didn't see that coming. Like I said at the beginning of this movie review, guys, the ending is so unexpectedly confusing, in my opinion. I mean, I'm really interested, if you'd leave your comments in the comment section below, I'm really interested to know what you personally got from the ending of this movie. Like, it, was it just me? Is it just me that I just personally didn't understand the ending of this movie? Or was this movie genuinely, like, authentically, completely confusing? Like, because... And you'll see why I, I'm, I'm questioning that. Like, did, did, did his character become a completely up, another identity and he knew what he was about to get himself involved in? Like, it, just, it was just so confusing at the end. It, but in saying that, in saying that, this movie's cast, the actors in this movie were so exceptionally brilliant on every level imaginable. The color palette of this movie is just so rich, especially for a movie filmed in its time, which is, I think it was the 1940s, I think that's what it was. It was so well filmed. The editing was stellar, and I mean absolutely stellar. The camera angles and the camera positioning was so good like the direction of the film was it was just everything that you needed to be obviously except for that last scene it just made no sense like it was just like wait what however guys i will warn you right now that there is a grotesque scene in this film and it happens very quickly it's not it's not you know they don't prolong the shot but it is pretty gross, and what I will warn you about right now, before I go on, I just want to give you the heads up. For anyone who has a sensitivity to meat, I'll say that, a sensitivity to meat, specifically chicken. If you have a sensitivity to chicken, there's a sequence in this movie that you might not want to watch, because it's pretty messed up, and it looks very, 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 very real. And it kind of, it looks so real that it, I'd be surprised if it wasn't real because it looks so authentic. And that's probably not. But it's, it's, it's pretty hardcore and it's literally right at the beginning of the film. If you have a weak stomach to that sort of stuff, then that element of this movie, you'll, yeah, you might get pretty disturbed by it because it's, it's pretty hardcore. Another thing that I wanted to bring to your attention, guys, is a two and a half hour runtime. It is a very steady paced movie. This movie definitely is not an action film at, to any degree at all. So it's not like, it's not you know, hardcore hitting every scene, is boom, 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 boom. Nothing like that at all. It's a very, very, very steady paced movie. This movie takes you on a journey. This movie really, really, really takes you through a, a slow breathing journey and if you haven't seen the clip with Bradley Cooper and D Denis Don, the, the director, go and check it out. And um, what I'll do is I'll actually link uh, link the description of it in the in the description of this YouTube video for you to go and check out. The reason why I say to watch that is because the, uh, what I was just talking about is the breathe, like the slow breathing pacing of this movie you'll actually see that 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 was actually intentional at the at the opening sequence or not the opening sequence but one of the beginning sequences of this film where a situation happens to do with the tent and something happens in the tent to do with the tent very 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 clever just absolutely amazing amazing how they uh, executed that it's really really well done so guys, without further ado, anyone who has been following my channel for any period of time, I love to give you guys yeah! trivia in my movie reviews, but before that guys, I wanna ask you a question. The question that I ask my audience in probably every single movie review I've ever done, does Nightmare Alley have in its core element, the thing that a film, in my personal humble, humble opinion, 
that film needs to be film in order f for us as audience members to want to go back days, months, years, millenniums and re-watch it and I like to call it my personal opinion. Ready guys? In three, two, one. That's right. Rewatchability, guys. Does Nightmare Alley have rewatchability? And the reason why I say yes to that answer, the reason why I say yes, is purely for the elements of it to do with the outcome of the movie, like the, the very end sequence. To know, like, I need to rewatch this movie myself because I need to see did I miss something? Was the was the outcome what I thought it was, or did I miss? Did I actually miss the point? However, guys, this movie is incredible. It is absolutely exceptional, and I thoroughly, thoroughly, highly recommend that you go and see Nightmare Alley. And without further ado, guys, anyone who's been following my channel for any period of time, you guys know that I love to give you trivia to end my movie reviews because, in my personal opinion, trivia for me. Guys, it's like icing on a cake, and I love cake. Without further ado, guys, guys, it's trivia time! Most of the early scenes were filmed after the production suspended during the COVID-19 pandemic. Bradley Cooper used the time to lose 15 pounds and appear younger at the beginning of the film. Leonardo DiCaprio was originally picked for the lead role, as DiCaprio chose this over projects from Paul Thomas Anderson. And, but negotiations fell through due to the not reaching a financial agreement. DiCaprio opted out and was shortly replaced by Bradley Cooper. Ironically enough, Bradley Cooper ended up replacing DiCaprio in Paul Thomas Anderson's Licorice Pizza in 2021. Guillermo del Toro's film is not a remake of Nightmare Alley 1947 but a re-adaptation of William Lindsay Graham's novel. Rooney Maha was pregnant when filming began and gave birth to her child while production was suspended due to the COVID-19 pandemic. She remarked that timing and production schedule was advantageous since her early scenes in the picture appearing scantily clad in her carnival costume were filmed after the break. Ron Perlman's seventh collaboration with Guillermo del Toro, Pinocchio in 2022 will be their eighth. Bradley Cooper claimed that many of the tabletop props in the film were actual possessions of director Guillermo del Toro. So there you have it guys, what did you think of the trivia? How incredible is it about Leonardo DiCaprio getting you know the role and then losing it that is absolutely crazy i was really really surprised to read that and obviously and the uh the licorice pizza as well i haven't seen licorice pizza that hasn't dropped here in australia yet, but i'm really really excited for that to drop in australia i'm looking forward to seeing that because that looks like a good movie however guys you guys are amazing i really appreciate you so so much you value your time so much and if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and click that bell for notifications. That way, when I drop anything, it'll be yours on your device straight away. I appreciate that so much. And don't forget who's bringing this movie review for Nightmare Alley, guys. This is Superman Steve, appreciating you guys always and loving your time. Fly.